Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm starting my own chainsaw carving YouTube channel. I'm doing this to try to just kind of show what I do and maybe help a few people out that are wanting to learn how to do this. Uh, I'm not saying everything I do is right, but it works for me and I'll kind of go over some tools and stuff that I use along the way. So hopefully you enjoy this. This first carving is a white-tailed deer. It's a white-tailed buck. Um, shoulder mount. It's going to be sitting on a, on a tree trunk. So stay tuned. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy this because it's going to be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Look at all my chainsaw. All right, this is gonna be a white tail. Sorry, I started a little early. I didn't realize that uh, my camera wasn't recording. So I just started stripping bark. Took a little bit of this side off. The deer head's gonna be, his muzzle's gonna be here. He's gonna come down through here, kind of undercut. It's gonna be a nice, uh, be a nice stump or something that it'll be resting on something some nice base all right uh for some reason my camera had not been recording the last few session so this is the white tail that I'm doing um, get air gonna blow this off so you can kind of see it better but this is gonna be a giant buck and I did the hair kind of the fur a little more bear like texture because this is gonna be a full bone antler um, I kind of wanted some definition some of this shadowing to show up without having to um, do a lot of painting so I do have I do have some cracks that are showing up right by the eye so I'm gonna let this dry out in the Sun for a few more days and um, I'll fill those in shim them up I've got a kind of the center of the crack starting here and shooting off this direction I got the base and there's a lot of sawdust on it I texture that with um, one of my Harry Kane I've got a Harry Kane and an editor editor eater gouge power gouge I got from Bob King um, things are awesome they do awesome bark texture just tap it uh, along the along the log here and there and you get really cool bark texture without having to work a whole lot with the chainsaw tip I've done bark with a chainsaw tip it just takes a really long time um, I'm going to use my ball a saber tooth ball grinder bit that I'm going to texture this with like dimple pattern just something a little different and then the antlers still waiting but they're going to be gigantic it's going to be a huge huge white-tailed buck but they're going to be made out of driftwood so coming along so far all right I started painting the white tail uh, this is going to be a mixture of rattle can acrylic uh, createx airbrush paint dry brush technique maybe a few other things but I'll kind of go over a little bit how I do it. Um, usually I get like a good base layer going and I go, I build up on top of that to get my colors right. So it's going to be a time lapse. Check it out.
Okay, that's the that's the base brown, most of it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to add some gray to this. I know whitetail bucks in the in the winter time, their winter coats more gray than brown. So I'm going to I don't know if I'm gonna try to airbrush it, if I'm gonna try to maybe dry brush over the top a little bit across his back, his forehead. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try a few things and see what works and what doesn't. Go from there. We'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. Okay, without further ado, the whitetail is pretty much finished. I do have a little bit of work to do around the base of the antlers where the antlers is attached to the head. But this is it. This is the deer. Uh, it's got, well, let's just, let's just go look at it. And then I will explain later uh, everything that is done. So this is it. It is a giant. I have not measured it. I don't know what it would measure, but it is absolutely huge. The antlers are made out of um, old, really, really old hedge branches. They're all joined together, finished out. The deer itself is carved out of white pine. I do have a little bit of cracking coming in here. I'm drying a little too fast, so I'm gonna try to slow it down dry it in a shady cool area but the trunk is all carved in I'm gonna lighten this up just a hair it's a little too dark I'd like that to be a little more gray that's a little unrealistic but it will be a little darker so I'm turn this a little bit see that side this is a giant white tail going to a hunter and hunting outfit in Southern Illinois. So stay tuned. Uh, I got some really cool stuff coming up. I'm going to do a really awesome German Shepherd uh, for an awesome family. So that will be start to finish as well. Um, I wish this one was a little more involved. The, my camera work wasn't working as well as I had planned. So I apologize for that. But the next ones will be better, I promise. But Thanks for watching. Please, please, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I don't know what that does. It gets me people, more people watching. So I think that's a good thing. So thanks everybody. And please continue. Thanks.